What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing Monday. Hopefully, your day is over, almost over. You're on your way home. To, you know, put your feet up, kick back, grab a nice cold drink, and just unwind for the day. Today was a sick day for good old Rip. You know, I wasn't feeling too well. My dog's fresh out of surgery from Friday, still taking care of him. It's going to be a long road to recovery. They're thinking about 30 or 40 days, give or take. It's going to be tough on him. It's going to be tough on me as well, you know, picking him up. I got to carry him down the stairs, put him on the grass, hopefully he uses the bathroom. If he doesn't, sometimes he just stands there looking at me like, hey, man, are we going to walk or not? I got to break up the news to him. Be like, hey, we're not walking. You pee, you poop here. We go back up. You get back in bed. You're on bed rest until this thing is all healed. He had CCL surgery, which is ACL on the dog on his other leg. He had one two years ago. It was a disaster. The other leg went out just like clockwork. So here we are, folks. Here we are. Listen, in this episode, we're talking about one thing and one thing only, and that is crypto wealth. You got that right. Crypto freaking wealth. It's coming. It is coming. But I need everyone that's listening to my voice right now. I need everyone to do one thing. I need you to repeat after me. I will not chase green candles, and I will stick to the plan. That's it. That is all you got to do. Don't chase green candles. Stick to the plan. Get the targets. Exit when the target is hit. Don't get cute. And you are going to be very, very wealthy when this whole thing is said and done in 2025. You're probably thinking, Rip, 2025 is a long time from now. No, it isn't. It's six months. Look how quick 2024 went. This is a bull market. We're in the bull run. The markets are going to fly, especially when we start going up in prices, which is coming soon. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Gala, which we haven't talked about in quite some time. We're going to talk about a top analyst out there throwing some air quotes around that is calling for a 360x outbreak within XRP and it's called for over 200 hundred dollar price tag on xrp i got that for you and much much more so without further ado let's jump into a bitcoin sixty nine thousand one hundred and twenty six dollars it's currently up 1.19 percent in the past 24 hours ethereum coming in at three thousand eight hundred and eight it's currently up 0.14 percent in the past 24 hours usdt and usdc both coming in at their dollar pegs just where we want to see them as xrp well you know what? It's moved up since this morning. This morning we were looking at 52 cents. We are currently looking at 0 0.5202. That's right. I know. I know. Get out the piggy banks. It is time to cash this bad boy in. It is up 0.35%. We haven't seen our move just yet, folks, but it's coming. Total cryptocurrency market gap, $2 trillion, $598 billion. We are about halfway, oh, halfway there to get into our $5 trillion crypto market cap by the end of the year, according to yours truly and Brad Gallinghouse. Hey, new month, new NFTs coming out. These are the 90s cartoon NFTs. Only 165 bucks. Here's some images. Check them out. How freaking cool are these? The artwork is straight fire, folks. Look, da -da, da -da. little Beavis and Butthead going. Hey, last month, if you were a holder, June 1st, payouts came. That was Saturday. Gave, up, gave back over 66,000. We are coming in to over 700,000 XRP given back. We actually went up in XRP per point last month, which most of the projects that try to do what we do fail after about six months, and we are 15 months into this thing. We are the largest project on the XRP ledger. Now is the time to get involved. It's not too late. Earn XRP back every month just for holding. There's nothing you need to do. It gets dropped right into your wallet. Here's the XRP chart we talked about in the first video of the day. We're not going to stay on this for too long, but this is exactly what we are looking at. Here's your buy zone. We are looking at a move this summer for XRP to finally move to the upside. That is coming. That is coming very, very quickly. Pay attention. Tether, is the Black Swan event finally coming for Tether? Is that why Ripple is stepping in with their own stable coin? Is that possible? I mean, we've been we've been hearing and talking about Tether for quite some time that this thing was going to blow up. But listen to this clip. We've also uh, have observed the increased use of stable coins 
uh, notably Tether's USDT uh, by sanctioned persons, scammers, and terrorist groups. And a key theme across all of that is that bad actors are seeking out those jurisdictions and those products where they're uh, weak or insufficient AML, CFT, uh, or sanctions compliance programs. And uh, some virtual asset service providers are sort of outright failing to uh, meet their compliance obligations. Uh, I think the second thing that we've been uh, really focused on is the risks around stable coins and particularly uh, as we have seen those uh, uh, become more attractive to uh, terrorists and um, other bad actors. Is there a way to work with Congress to get an authority so that those stable coins that are U.S. backed uh, are clearly subject to uh, OFAC sanctions uh, authorities. And then, you know, I think overall, uh, you know, it's the work to ensure that uh, virtual asset um, uh, service providers and other entities that operate in the ecosystem know clearly that uh, based on the activity that they are engaged in, uh, they are uh, required to register with FinCEN as a money services business. Um, or, uh, or really a financial institution that's subject to all of the AML, CFT obligations that uh, FinCEN administers. Uh, well, and we'll pause it there. We don't need to listen to the whole thing. All we keep hearing these rumblings about Tether. Tether's in trouble. Tether's going to blow. I've been hearing this since 2017. And everyone's saying that since Tether's going to blow, it's going to take the rest of the market down with it. I, I don't think it's going to blow. I think Tether will be just fine. I think we will see money rotate out. I think Ripple's going to get a lot of the market share for the stable coin as well. Uh, I think Gemini will, will get market share, USDC. I just think we will see a slow transition away from Tether. Flood of cash from Coinbase gives crypto one of the biggest campaign war chests. Coinbase filed Ripple and A16Z and each giving $25 million to the political action committee. Fair shake as the general election approaches the May shift for crypto destiny. It says the crypto industry has so far gathered about 161 million after Coinbase became the latest company to donate 25 million to its political action committee for this election. It'll be interesting to see where that money is actually going to go and what it's going to be spent on. I mean, Coinbase, Ripple, all the major players, Gemini. You name it, they are all donating because they all want to make sure that their correct political group that's going to benefit them is into play. I mean, who are they actually going to give the money to? We don't know. That's why they go through a, a third party, right? Wall Street, they asked Biden not to veto Congress's rejection of the SEC crypto policy. Oh, looks like Wall Street wants crypto to stick around. You think Biden's going to listen to this one? It says lobbying groups for the U.S. banks sent President Joe Biden a letter asking him to change his mind on his threat to veto the congressional effort to overturn SOB 121. Members of Congress did as well. Yeah. I mean, Biden doesn't know what's going on. Biden didn't even make the threat. Someone made the threat for him. They're not going to do anything. Crypto isn't going anywhere. Crypto is here to stay. It is very, very obvious. Wall Street is in. We're going to see even more institutional money enter. This is just a threat. Why? Because they are running out of chances, out of opportunities to scare the general public and to allow the institutions and banks to get set up because people are starting to catch on. So what are they doing? They're trying to put one more scare tactic into you. What's that scare tactic? The president is going to tell you he's going to veto crypto. No, not happening. Gala, finally, a little Gala is going to flash a little buy signal. I'm aiming to extend gains. It says Gala's price has been consolidating within a horizontal channel between $0.05 cents and $0.03. Cents. We might be seeing a breakout on Gala. It was way overdue. I bought about $5,000 worth of Gala a long time ago. This thing is ready. It needs to rip already. I mean, soon, right? We can only ask for soon. All-time high, 83 cents. Hey, listen, if this thing wants to give me a 10x and get back to 50 cents, 
I'm down for it. I'm not going to fight it. XRP Ledger, DeFi heats up. Remember everyone making fun of the XRP Ledger and, and our automated market makers and DeFi, no one's using it because when it first came out, there was very no, there was like no use cases or really, really low volume going through it. Well, guess what? 10 million volume. They just surpassed. It says with 500 pairs, we also reached 25% of Uniswap V3's total pairs. Interesting. No one's talking about that, right? AMM, 10 million XRP total value locked, 25% of Uniswaps. Huh. Yeah, let's just think about that for a second. That's big. Then we get a, then listen, don't shoot the messenger. I'm telling you right now, do not shoot the freaking messenger on this. Javon Marks, not sure who he is, never heard of his name. But he is a top analyst out there. I'm using air quotes. He is calling for a 360x as there is a hidden bullish divergence currently being played out. He's saying that we can target all the way up to $200 for XRP. He says if we break out as he anticipates, XRP could see gains exceeding 36,000%, pushing us into the $200 range. Interesting because there's not even enough money in crypto crypto right now that would be able to come into this to get us there. But hey, I just covered the news. Don't shoot the messenger. Let's let's break 75 cents and then maybe we can talk about a dollar. How's that sound, folks? I'm going to keep it like that. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.